This is a Nissan 701 SP skid loader. It's made by Universal Hobbies and it's in 158 scale. Now this little guy, if you're not familiar with Nissan, is part of the Wacker Nissan family. Now Wacker Nissan is a German company and they do make skid loaders here in Wisconsin. But they're all yellow and they all say Wacker Nissan. So, from what I understand, this is the German version. I really don't know. This particular guy came from Europe um, and is actually really hard to look up on the internet. I have not seen another one of these for sale in the States, and they're kind of hard to find, to be honest. Even if you want to find the red version here, it's, it's not exactly easy. Now, Wacker Neeson, if you're not familiar, um, if you've ever worked dirt and you've used a walk-behind tamper, it's a Wacker. It may not be the Wacker brand name. It might be Bomag or something else. There's a bunch of other companies that make them. But just in the way that Bobcat is a universal term for a skid loader, a walk-behind tamper is a Wacker. Um, that's what more or less built the Wacker brand name, what built the company. Because that's um, their flagship product, I guess. Now, these days, obviously they make skid loaders. But they make a whole range of compact construction equipment. Uh, the mini excavators, the those rigid frame, uh, swivel dumpers, all that stuff is all Wacker Neeson. Uh, yeah, along with all the different um, compaction equipment and hammers and th those kind of things. Now, as far as the skid loader goes, this is probably one of the nicest skid loaders you can get in 150th scale. The detail is just phenomenal. I mean, just looking at it, you can see it's got a lot of really fine parts and pieces to it. The only thing that's not great is the range of motion. And, to be honest, it could probably go further than that. But the, the castings are really fine, and I don't want to break the thing just to see if it'll dump a little bit higher. You know, it's never, you know... It's never going to sit in any other position than this on the shelf. So I'm not going to break it just to see what it'll do. But that being said, it does have a lot of detail. I mean, look, it's even got the latches for the bucket. I've never had another skid loader that even had those. The hydraulic lines are really nice. You know, you got the steel lines for the remote and the soft lines for the cylinders. It's really cool. It even has... The lines back there in the frame, which is really nice. The beacon's cool. The mirrors are nice. The uh, the grill looks fantastic. And even the interior is really well done also. It's kind of hard to see in there. But the uh, you got your two joysticks, and even the lap bar is up in the raised position. So it really is like it's empty. The lights are nice. Overall, it's just a really, really nice skid loader. You know, uh, I mean, as far as the size goes, it might be either a hair small or this from Ertl is a hair big. I would suspect that this is a hair big, but it's still really nice. Um, now, like I said, I've never seen another one of these for sale in the United States. One of the ways that I get an awful lot of things in my collection is when I see a sale, I take advantage of it. The truth is, most of this stuff is horrendously expensive. To me, most of it at the retail price is just not worth it. It's too much money. There's better things to spend your money on. It's a terrible way to look at it, but it's true. It's just too expensive. And there was, a, uh, there was a French retailer that was having a big sale. And it was a sale on a lot of things that had not been easy to find in the United States for quite a while. And I just, you know, I, I happened to stumble across it. And so I decided to put an order in. And the shipping was really expensive. The shipping was like 45 or $50, which is a lot. But for the price that they were selling everything for, I mean, it was a fire sale. I just, I couldn't say no, and I had to order it. So I'm looking through, and I'd seen this. And this was the cost of, you know, an Ertl skid loader. And just from the picture, 
you know, I could see that it was a nice looking skillet. So I said, well, you know, what the, what the heck? I went ahead and got it. And it was a pleasant surprise to say the least. So not only is it an interesting, unique model, uh, it's also kind of hard to find, which is a little bit neat. So I definitely uh, would recommend looking around and keeping an eye out for sales. That's the best way to get just things you've wanted for a long time, things you've never seen before, and things you might not see again. Plus, it's a little bit fun, too, when you find a good sale. Anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you'd like to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And thanks for watching.